Hello everybody, my name is Trevor Oslescu, owner of Monster Hobbies in High River, Alberta, Canada. Welcome back to another great painting video and I've got a really cool old one for you. Today we're going to be painting the Cogsmith model, also known as Grim Burlickson, from 8th edition Warhammer Fantasy. And I have actually owned this model that long, because as you can see he's mounted on a square base. This is how he came originally, right out of the packaging. Of course you had to build the pieces, and I primer painted him way back when. Just never got around to painting him until now. One thing I did back in the day was use a small drill like this one, just to drill the holes in the top of his gun barrels here, so it would look a little more realistic. The new Dwarf lineup came out in January of 2014, and I happen to have issues 1, 2, and 3, which have all the new releases for the Dwarfs back in the day. And this magazine I still have for sale, actually, at Monster Hobbies. Check it out on our website, www.monster-hobbies.ca, in the magazine section. But anyway, this is the one that has the Cogsmith, or uh, Grim Burlickson in it, and shows you how to paint him. And when we open the magazine, we can find Grim Burlickson on pages 8 and 9 of The White Dwarf, and it does show how to paint him up, although they're using a green pattern here, and we're going to be using the Crack 8 Peaks red and blue pattern, so he'll be a little bit different. But what's nice about this photo and these photos is it gives you reference on the model as to what is where, because when you're looking at him just in black primer, you can actually get a little bit lost. So here we can see that the bottom part here will be the cape where he's painted. And up above they chose to use metal for shoulder pads. And he's got this big white pipe that sticks out and all kinds of other things. So I will use this as a guide off camera, just so I know the location of where everything should be painted and whatnot. What I'll do first is give Grim Burlickson the skin color. So here I have Bugman's Glow, Reichland Flesh Shade, Cadian Flesh Tone, Kislev Flesh, and then a dry brush of Eldar Flesh. Now Grim Burlickson, since he's from 2014 in Warhammer 8th Edition Fantasy, he was mounted on a 25mm square base, but Age of Sigmar now uses round bases because it's more of a skirmish type game instead of a rack and formation type like Fantasy was. So I have really two choices. What I could do is use my number 16 hobby blade and just carefully put it under his foot and then push on it and push on this foot over here to break him off of the 25 millimeter square base to glue him onto the round. Or I can use this square to round conversion base, which is a 3D printed item. And as you can see, he would just pop right into place. And then he's on a round base, more or less, while still being square. And that would be so that I could use him for either Warhammer uh, Age of Sigmar, or pop him off if I wanted to play him in 8th edition Fantasy or one of the newer games. So now, after seven years, Grim Burlickson finally has a skin tone. Hey, you just can't rush these things. Next up, we'll add the Crack Eight Peaks Blue and the Crack 8 Peaks Red color schemes to our Grim Burlickson model. And here we have Grim Burlickson with the red and the blue painted onto his little robe down there. And that will finish that. So next up we'll apply the steel colors using our lead belcher, Nuln Oil, Iron Breaker, Rune Fang Steel, and Necron Compound. Now what's nice about Grim Burlickson is most of the stuff he's carrying and holding and wearing is all iron. So here's Grim Burlickson after I painted on all the metal. This of course is the silver and the steel as it were and you can see that it is quite overpowering on the figure itself. Very bright. So much like the uh, picture shows from that white dwarf we do need to add some copper and gold on here just to kick that down so it doesn't just look like he's made out of silver. So I was looking through my paint collection and I found some white gold and some old gold from Vallejo, which I think I could use on that model, as well as some red gold and some copper. And these look pretty good. They are the alcohol-based paints again, so you can easily clean them up with some rubbing alcohol. Here we have Grim Burlickson after adding in the gold and copper to most of his equipment. The only thing we've got to do now is I have to choose a color for his beard here. I don't know whether to make it red or blonde or whatever. 
maybe I'll leave that as a surprise. And then I noticed under his wristband here is a little bit of cloth sticking out. That's so it's not abrasive on his hand. Then we also have to paint the gun butts in here with some color, according to the magazine. As well as back here with some leather. And uh, overall though, I mean, he's looking really good. Still haven't decided whether to cut him off this square and put him on round. But uh, you'll have to wait and see. So here I've done more painting on Grim Burlickson. All I have left is just to paint the gold in there and paint his pipe with some white paint. And as you can see, I've got a lot of shining stuff on here. There's purple for his axe blade. I also have to add a little gold into there. Added in some Screaming Skull along the leather look for the gun holsters. Put some copper in there as well as some red on the ends. And this big Grudge Raker rifle is looking nice as well. Keep having trouble with the paint rubbing off in this little corner. But if I mount them on the round base, that might actually get rid of that. And then, uh, of course, yeah, maybe I'll cut them off this base, put them on around, and then uh, flock the round base. But overall, you get the picture of just how this is turning out. So before I show you Grim Burlickson, I thought I would uh, share this way that I paint these green lenses, and also in his ring. I'm using the Caradron book for uh, features on how to paint, so it's dealing with port portals. So first you paint them black, and then you add in some warp stone green in sort of a circle down here, and then a crescent of moot green, followed by a thinner crescent of Uriel yellow, and then a wash of waystone green, just to give it a gloss sheen. And here we have our finished Grim Burlickson sitting on the round base, all ready for Age of Sigmar. And you can see just how great all this paint works and looks. And uh, yeah, should be now a formidable model. And it only took me seven years to paint this. Well, I hope you enjoyed that great video where I got to show you my painted version of Grim Burlickson, the Cogsmith. And if you have built this model kit before, we would love to see your pictures over on our Facebook page. I'll leave the link for it in the description below. And until next time, everybody, happy model building and happy wargaming.